Another Bring TV exclusive. Exclusive. What's happening, everybody? Of course, you already know who it is, your host, Young Brink. Tune in to Brink TV. Now, we got a real special interview for you guys today. You know what I'm saying? It's not that often where we get a female R&B singer. I know y'all have been seeing a lot of female artists on the show, rappers on the show. But now we got a singer. Oh, I'm sorry, vocalist. Miss <laughs> Joyce, how you doing? I'm doing fine. How you doing? Today? I'm, do- I'm doing good. I'm glad to have you on my show. Now, tell the people, how long you been doing music? I have been doing music for as long as I could talk, literally. I um, started out, of course, singing in the church and been going ever since. You know, I hear that a lot. Like, a lot of people get their start, their beginning in the church. How would you say singing gospel or singing in the choir influenced your uh, artistry today? Um, It influenced my artistry today because I knew that you can touch people through your music. That's right. And how you portrayed your music. And I and I just didn't feel like that gospel was the only way right. to reach people through yeah. your music. Exactly. It's, it's, it's so many genres out there and I really feel like people can be touched from each genre. You know what I'm saying? Even I feel like rock and roll probably touching people, you know what I'm saying? As long as they ain't cutting themselves and doing all that crazy <laughs> stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like it could touch people. Now, let's talk about the CD you have currently now. Let, let's see if we can let the people know about that because you got a body at work that's impeccable, you know what I'm saying? I know you got a catalog full of music. We need to start informing the Memphis viewers on that because you are from Memphis, right? Yes, I am. I'm originally from Memphis. <laughs> I, yeah, baby. By way of, by way of Jackson. Um, right there on Chelsea Avenue. So, Uh-oh. you know, I saw a lot of things. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, this is this is part of my home as well. And right now, the music that I have out is the Tipping Point. That's my current album, and that album landed me uh, a couple of nominations and a lot of things. Uh, my single "Fall in Love" is getting played several places worldwide, from Atlanta to over in the UK. So, I'm really excited. Okay. This album, yes, I so got you, some reviews over in the UK for this album. A really good review for it. So, so you mean to tell me that potentially you can be performing in the UK one day? Yes, I do host to. I used to live in Germany, so I was whoa, to wait, get back over you there. didn't tell us about that. <laughs> now, when were you living in Germany? I lived in Germany when I was younger, because okay. um, my dad was in the army, okay. so I stayed in Heidelberg and Karlsruhe, Germany. So, a slew of dish. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's something good. <laughs> now, uh. I love you. Where where could people uh, purchase your music or download it? Okay. Number one, you can go to MissJoyceMusic.com. She got a website. And you can get everything that you need there, one-stop shop. You can go to iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Spotify. If you get some Dr. Dre Beats headphones, you can go to Beats.com and get my music, Xbox. You can find it, Miss Joyce. So you like 18 steps ahead of the average singer that I come in contact with because they don't even have a website. Oh, wow. Well, that's that's amazing. I'm trying to. I just try to stay hard at what I do because I want to be taken seriously. Been doing this for a long time. It's an independent artist, and a lot of times you have to really go 10 times harder. Right. And when you're a singer, you have to aim when you're a female. Yeah. It's like it's so compounded um, of what you have to do, and so you just have to – do everything and make it meet in the middle so people can say okay here's here here's okay she's right. trying to right. get it together she's dedicated and i feel like my persistence is going to pay off okay now what would you say some of the challenges are that you may face as a female vocalist from the south because of course we know it's not as many opportunities here as there are in places like atlanta new york um California, and like I say, I, I say the South, but really and truly, I mean Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? So, what are some of the challenges that you may face? I say the challenge that I face the most is they want you to they want you to be original and stand out, okay. but they want you to blend in with what everyone else is doing. Right, right, right. And, and that's like an oxymoron. Like, how can you be original and stand exactly. out, but be everybody else at the same exactly. time? Right. So it's like that's one of the main things. For me, that I've seen, you know, across the board, industry-wise, yeah, you know, and getting people just to take the time to listen, right, and, and you know, to take you seriously, and not necessarily be about the quick dollar but residual income. Right, right. See, she definitely is 18 steps ahead of you guys because <laughs> she's talking about residual income. 
y'all that don't know, that's money that you're going to keep getting, keep getting. That's mailbox money, as we call it. You know what I'm saying? When you just go outside and, oh, I got a check this morning. You know what I mean? Praise God. But uh, you, you mentioned the website. I know that you are also nominated for the SCM Awards. Tell them what you're nominated for. I'm nominated for the sixth consecutive year. Thank you to everyone, all of my fans, for Best Female R&B. You all can go and vote for me at scmawards.com. And make sure that when you go and vote, you go and validate it with your email account so that it accounts. Thank you. See, see, she even more ahead of you guys because she has all the instructions. Now, I know you have Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, anything like that, maybe even SoundCloud, whatever you have, let the people know. All right, you can check me out on SoundCloud. Um, that's Miss Joyce Music. My Twitter and Instagram is Miss Joyce Music. My website is MissJoyceMusic.com. My Facebook is Miss Joyce KOQ. Um, you can also check me out. Uh, we just finished wrapping up a season of Memphis Queens. So shout out to all my ladies from the Memphis Queens. So you can check us out on YouTube as well. Um, just anywhere you want to find me, I'm there. You can just go and Google it because sometimes I have to Google myself to see where I'm at. Hey, as long as, long as you're Googleable, as long as <laughs> at least eight to ten things pop up, then you making it happen. One thing I want to say real quick, though, if it's a aspiring singer out there right now and they kind of wavering they on the fence what advice do you have for them my advice is if when you lay down to go to sleep at night this is what you're thinking about and when you wake up in the morning this is what you're thinking about don't let anyone deter you from your dream they may not understand your vision everyone is not going to understand your vision but it's up to you to continue it throughout no matter what you know what your destiny is and so that's for you to go after no one else to deter break down because I, I i think i left a status about that the other day I, my status was is that you did not anoint my beginning so you cannot destroy my destiny that's so, right that's just how i feel about it i love it i love <laughs> it make sure you guys go to scmawards.com and vote for miss joyce and i got a quick question what where the name miss joyce come from I just, I just wonder. Well, Joyce is my, it's my name. Okay. And so it became, you know, people would see me out a lot of times. They knew I was a preacher's daughter. Right, right. So they would always call me by my full name. Okay. Joyce Howard, Joyce Howard. Okay, okay. You know, and so late afterwards, you know, it became the diva thing. And so it was like, oh, Miss Joyce. I got you, I so, got you. And so it kind of just stuck. So it's M-I-S-S, -S -S, okay. J-O-I-C-E. So that's where it came from. It's just the diva side when they see me on stage because you never know what miss joyce might do on stage uh oh and then <laughs> another thing like i said right before we go if anyone wants to book you for a feature or for a performance or anything like that what's the best way they can do that the best way to come come find me to book me is you can shoot me an email at missjoyce222 at gmail.com or king of queens entertainment um that's king of queens ent at gmail.com and um i also want to say that Please be keeping me in your meditations. I'm a quarter finalist for the Steve Harvey Morning Show for That's Stringing right. Your Way to the Hoodie Awards, Neighborhood Awards. That's going to be taking place in August. So I'm really excited about that. Just to all of you all who have been tuning in and voting for me online every time I call in the scene. Thank you all so much. I've been getting a lot of feedback from that, so I appreciate it. That was Definitely. something else you was nominated for it too, right? I think it was something else you was telling me about earlier. Oh my goodness, I don't know. It was something, Atlanta, Atlanta something, was it? Yes, uh, okay, yes. Yeah. I need everyone, come find me and I will get the link to you. What you need to do is come and nominate me for the Atlanta Underground Music Awards. Um, I want to be nominated for Best Southern Artist. Since I'm an out-of-state artist, that is the category I can be nominated in. So please go to that and nominate me. And if you can't find where to go, come and find me at MissJoyceMusic.com. Shoot me an email, and I will gladly give you all the information that you need. Gladly. Like I said, make sure you guys <laughs> vote for her in everything that she's nominated for because it's a, it's a privilege and a blessing to even be nominated. You know what I'm yes. saying? So let's help this young lady win. Make sure you vote for, check out our music, and now back to more Brink TV. Yeah.